Louise Bogan was born on August 11th in 1897 in Livermore Falls, Maine. She attended Mount St. Mary's Academy for her early education and then attended the Girls Latin School in Boston. With her father, mother, and brother, she moved around northeast mill towns for her father, Daniel Joseph Bogan, was a mill worker. Her mother, however, was a little crazy, literally. Mary Shields Bogan was mentally and emotionally unstable and would sometimes mysteriously disappear. And Mrs. Bogan would sometimes take her daughter with her on these mysterious trips. She was not happy with her marriage and flaunted her many affairs. In Bogan's adulthood, she married her first husband, Kurt Alexander, in 1916. After living with her newlywed husband in New York, the couple moved near the Panama Canal. It was here where she wrote some of the poems that were a part of her first collection. The couple had a daughter. However, Bogan's marriage was unhappy and she divorced from Alexander in 1919, then moved to Vienna and lived alone for three years. She moved back to New York in 1923, when, where she'd lived the rest of her life, and met many influential writers, including Edmund Wilson, who was considered her early mentor. In 1925, Bogan married again, this time to Raymond Holden, who was a fellow poet. However, this marriage was also unhappy, and the couple divorced in 1937. Despite the prestige Bogan gained throughout her writing career, she felt lonely in the literary world. Bogan also had many depressions that sometimes hospitalized her and she had to see a psychiatrist for. Bogan also won an award from the Academy of American Poets in 1959 and another for one from the National Endowment for the Arts in 1967, whose prizes helped ease her poor financial state. She died alone when she was fighting another depression in her apartment in New York City. Bogan's education at the Girls Latin School in Boston gave her a very solid educational foundation, and this background showed in the structured and formal tone of her work. Her mother's affairs were have said to have haunted Bogan from her childhood and beyond, and produced the reason for Bogan's use of themes of betrayal, especially sexual betrayal, disloyalty, faithlessness, and secret love and its consequences. Overall, the instability and difficulty of constantly moving around the Northeast and experiencing her mother's insanity and infidelity preoccupied Bogan with deep thoughts about betrayal and the lack of trust. However, her early life also gave her a highly romantic nature and a preference for art rather than a usual workday, which was most likely instituted by her father's laborious and dreary line of work as a paper mill worker. Her marriage to Kurt Alexander um, showed itself in her poetry, for at the beginning of their marriage, Bogan's poems included themes of love that is thriving, passionate, and fresh, and successful. However, when she divorced and lived in isolation in Vienna, the rough patch would appear in her work in themes of unsuccessful and broken love and how it affects the human person. She would also portray love in a negative way. Her unsuccessful marriage to Raymond Holden in 1925 also developed her negative attitude towards love. Her connection to Edmund Wilson made her become more public for he was the one to encourage her to write literary reviews, which gave Bogan the steady source of income she'd been lacking for the most of her adult life. Also, her loneliness in the literary world and her struggle with depression compelled her to use darker and sadder themes of loneliness, isolation. It was in times like these when Bogan may have developed her po more poetry based upon delving deeper into the nature of the human spirit. Bogan's characterizing themes and formal style all stemmed from her turbulent life full of trials and love and joy.